March 20th, St. Wolfram. Son of an official in the court of King Dagobert, courtier under Clotaire III, priest, Benedictine, archbishop of Sens, France in 682 AD, but in 685 he surrendered his see to St. Amatus, whom he felt was the rightful bishop, gave away his lands, and evangelized the Frisians in Scandinavia with a group of monks for 20 years. Remember, there is the Christian crew who bore the white Christ to these people. Converted the son of King Radbod and was allowed to preach the gospel. He met with some success, but it was a rough and pagan land. Children were sacrificed to heathen gods by hanging or drowning in the sea. People would cast lots at festivals to pick a victim, and the loser was immediately hanged or cut to pieces. Wolfram appealed to King Radbod to stop the slaughter. But the king said it was their custom, and he could not change it. He challenged Wolfram to rescue the victims if he could. Wolfram then waded into the sea to save two children who had been tied to posts and left to die in the rising tide. The turning point in the mission came with the rescue of Ovan. Ovan had been picked by Lot to be sacrificed by hanging. Wolfram begged King Radbod to stop the killing but the commoners were outraged at the sacrilege. Wolfram eventually obtained an agreement that if Wolfram's god saved Ovan's life, Wolfram and the god could have the man. Ovan was hanged and swung from the rope for two hours, during which Wolfram prayed. When the heathens decided to leave Ovan for dead, the rope broke. Ovan fell and was alive. Ovan became Wolfram's slave, his follower, a monk, and then a priest at Fonanel. The faith of the missionaries and their power to work miracles frightened and awed the people who turned from their old ways and were baptized. Even King Radbot converted. Just before his baptism, Radbot asked where his ancestors were. Wolfram told him that idolaters went to hell. I will go to hell with my ancestors, said the king rather than be in heaven without them. Later, near death, Radbod sent for St. Willibrord to baptize him, but died before the saint's arrival. Wolfram's relics were translated from Fontenelle to Abbeville, and in 1062, they were moved to Rouen, France. The life of Wolfram was written by the monk Jonas of Fontenelle 11 years after his death. St. Wolfram, pray for us.